welcome to our channel. I'm Sue, my husband AJ, and our cat is Quick. Last year we sold everything and bought a boat to sail the world. Subscribe, join us in this journey. We have a new video every week. I love it. Uh, we are currently in the East River in New York City. Right behind me is Manhattan. There's the Manhattan Bridge, and just behind it is Brooklyn Bridge. We are departing New York, and we're going up the East River. We're approaching Roosevelt Island. We're gonna go through Hell's Gate, and uh, we're gonna enter Long Island Sound and go up the Sound. We're gonna take the, uh, the easy way out today, and uh, do some navigating in the East River. There is a lot of commercial traffic. There's lots of current. There's lots of little boats. There's ferries. There's all sorts of stuff going on. So we're trying to pay attention as best as we can and uh, do some, some navigation through here. Give all the commercial traffic lots of room. And uh, while trying to enjoy the sights, take in the city from another perspective and it's amazing it's a really cool area it's very uh, difficult traveling through the East River due to all the traffic the current and the tides are very strong um, it, we were in reading about Roosevelt Island and we need to keep our distance from the UN and timing the tides right. So we waited a couple hours and we're taking the tide, the incoming tide, to go into Long Island Sound so we're not fighting it. So we're actually doing uh, nine knots right now, but before when we were in New York Harbor proper, we were going up the Hudson and we were only making four knots. But we made that turn and uh, creeped up to eight and a half, nine knots. And that's what we're staying at right now. A lot of the, uh, the transient ferries, transit ferries, the uh, metro ferries, do not abide by the rules of the road. They're blowing by me on every side. That's fine. Yeah, they, uh, they're New Yorkers, so we're getting out of the way as much as possible but we're abiding by navigation rules and staying in the, the designated shipping channels. So they, they keep blowing by me and blowing their horn, but I'm in the channel. Red, right, returning. Red's on my starboard. I'm in the channel, and uh, we're trying to give them right away when we can, but uh, they don't care. They're from New York. They do this every day. But we're checking out every area. Of the we're in a different area of Brooklyn. I believe we're getting close to Queens. And on this side, I'm not sure what they call this part of New York, but we're, we're seeing all sorts of new stuff for the first time. And it's awesome, a view from the water. Highly recommended on the right tide. We left 6.30? Six. Six. So it's three hours already. Are we getting close to work? To the house. A scary <laughs> navigation area. Yeah, I think it's almost there. This is Roosevelt Island here. This is what? Roosevelt Island. Oh. I think it's all big bricks, right? So we can fence too. Yeah, at least 130 feet tall mm -hmm. on a mean low water. We sat on the on the uh, bench over here the other day. Yeah, it was right here.
we're passing through the Hell's Gate right now. Yeah, we're in a section of the river called Hell's Gate, where um, the Harlem River converges with the East River, and uh, there's just a lot of power in here. So, luckily we're going with the current, but I've read that there can be standing waves here because of the different currents, and it's just, it can be a nightmare to transit this area. Uh, right now we're coming in on the flood and it's 2.3 knots. So you can see uh, later this afternoon at uh, 4, it's going to be 4.2 knots going the other way. So there's some t crazy tides in here, currents. So right now we're we're just entering this this area and uh, it seems pretty uh, easy going at the moment. Yeah, so. Oh. Yeah, look at this could start a standing wave right here. Oh, look there, look the water. This is crazy. Lots of current, lots of stuff going on. Just trying to uh, stay off to the side, let traffic go by. Stay in the channel. Just got to Port Jefferson on Long Island, New York. We've never been here before. Um, the radio is very active. There's lots of boats, a huge anchorage, lots of moorings. Um, the radio I kept getting stepped on, so I called them. We got assigned um, the mooring, 801. It said go down to uh, Green Buoy number nine and go port 50 yards. So that should be interesting. Um, we're not sure how these moorings are set up, but uh, I was just telling Sue. Sue, are you ready? I'm ready, what do you want? All right, we don't know what the situation of these moorings are, so we need to be prepared. We need one line on the starboard side, one line on the port side. We need the... Uh, the, the uh, Seeker, the, stick. Yeah, the stick, the mooring okay. line. It's Line a five mile an hour zone, buddy. <laughs> oh man, it's a clown show over here. Anyways, so we need to have a stick ready. You got your gloves, and we need to pull up the mooring. Looks like all the boats are facing this way. More chuck, more, more chuck. Okay. So uh, we're gonna come up into this mooring, and we need to just be able to adapt and go. Okay. Yeah, she said she's gonna help me. Okay. You're gonna take this up there? I need you to say Squid's that. gonna help me too. Squid? You gonna help, buddy? Yeah. Squid? Squid. 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 Squid.
Are you gonna help? Okay, good boy. Your gloves? There you go. Yeah, put them on. <laughs> All right, we have a special guest today. Okay, yeah. Connie is gonna help me too. We don't know how it's gonna be this morning. All right, so we're going down to Green Buoy number nine. And wow. we're going forward. And then we're looking for 800 or 801. Green Buoy number nine. Yeah. And then we're gonna look like for 801. 800 or 801. Okay, Captain. Wait, forward. <laughs> forward. Right here. One meter. Good afternoon. We are in. We're in. Good job. Good job. Teamwork. 